Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. It is time to talk about something very exciting. Uh, what are we talking about, Fiona? <laughs> a little prick. Yes, we are indeed. Dr. Martin Braun joining us from the Vancouver Laser and Skin Care Center. We are talking specifically about varicose and spider veins and how to get rid of them. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Braun. Braun. Hi. How, how are you? you? Nice Thanks to see you. Thanks for having me it's again. It's a pleasure. Our pleasure. Uh, tell us about these two things. First of all, uh, varicose veins, I think people are familiar with, but spider veins, I'm, I'm not Spider veins are just the smaller red and green, you know, unsightly veins that women see on their legs. And varicose veins are the big the ones. The bigger that, ones, yeah. Uh, what causes them, first of all? What's... It's mainly uh, hereditary, your genetics. If your one parent had them, for example, your mother, you have a 60% chance of getting them. If both parents have them, 90% chance. Just women get these, not men? No, men as well, but it's twice as common in women. Yeah. Oh, really? And it looks kind of manly on guys, right? Oh, you know, really? the bulging veins. <laughs> the big bulging veins. Now, yeah. when we're talking about it being hereditary, is there a way that, other ways that you can actually cause varicose veins? Yeah, sometimes trauma. Pregnancy makes it worse as well, um, estrogen states. That's why we figure women have twice the incidence of men. Okay, and the reason we're talking about this is because uh, up until now, everything I've heard anyway is that it was a very painful, invasive, uh, invasive <laughs> procedure to get rid of varicose veins and uh, yeah, I don't the, know about spider veins. The but classical way was stripping them, you know, surgical, which meant anesthesia as well as scarring. And it didn't work that well, you know, the success rate. Because when you took a vein out, it often encouraged the growth of more veins. I right. might pass out during the course of this segment if we keep on talking about things okay. like that. Uh, now, spider veins, mm -hmm. uh, they're treated a little bit differently. I guess yes. they're not as severe. Yes, and well, now we can treat them very similarly using ultrasound. We find the source of the problem. You know, often there's a little river of blood beneath the spider vein. What are we looking oh, at so here? Yes. Vein, right? So we can show the uh, treatment there. Um, we use an ultrasound machine, which you can see now on the screen, where we find the vein and where it's going and then we can inject it precisely with some foam and this will obliterate the foam. vein. Now what, what is it? Is yeah. it um, like I'm not looking right now, yeah. I know there's the stuff going on. The medication is foam and you can see it there, the white going into the black which right. is the vein and it will obliterate that vein and uh, we can see it all disappear. What's the post-op on this? Like uh, if people choose to do this, what, what's You walk the right out of the office, we put some compression stockings on, there's no bandages. We tell the patient to wear them for two days. Mm -hmm. and so but if they feel nice, wear them for longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But there's no surgery, no scarring, no downtime. And this is great for people because, I mean, along with a lot of other things, uh, varicose veins can make people very self-conscious about, you know, showing their legs and stuff. Oh, it must yes. make such a huge difference yeah. to uh, someone to get them removed. Oh, yes, and it's, and it's a very common problem. Um, generally, the incidence of varicose veins in women is about the same as their age. So by age 30, 30% of women. By age 50, 50% of women. God, it's very common. God, women are common. lucky, huh? Oh, yes. Just yeah. kidding. Uh, okay, let's look at these. Uh, tell us what we're looking at here. Is this a combo? Is yeah, so there we and... see some varicose and spider veins, which is often the case. People have small veins and large veins. There you can see some more spider veins. So and the spider veins are the ones that are a little bit smaller. more reddish, smaller? Yeah, yeah two, two to four millimeters right. in diameter. And uh, would this all be from sort of one vein, one source, or would there be multiple? Multiple sources quite often. And we can determine all that with the ultrasound. That's what makes it so revolutionary, the ultrasound machine. Okay, we always love looking at the before and after pictures uh, to see yeah, what a difference amazing. people. So let's yes. look at uh, the first set here. What a huge difference. So is this just with one treatment? Yes. That's one treatment on the left, and then you see the after picture on the right there. And those are spider veins that yep. have been obliterated. So uh, we've got another slide as well. That's, uh, see, and yep. there we oh, see wow. again some varicose veins there on the left. What a huge and difference. The left leg, and then you know, yeah, it looks a lot better afterwards. Yeah, and good. now with these modern techniques, you can. You know, you don't like to use the term guarantee in medicine, but you can virtually guarantee obliteration of any varicose vein. Nice. Uh, what's amazing to me about your business is how rapidly it advances. I mean, it seems like all the time you're sort of pushing things forward in, in terms of what you can do, and, and not only what you can do, but the ease with which you can do it and the recovery time yes, gets... Yes, with technological advancements, it's really nice. Yeah, no one has to have surgery anymore for their vein disease. Yeah. And it seems like technology is playing a huge part 
in that, yes. that people can get things treated and just be better in a day or two with yes. something non-invasive. Yes. yes, without the modern ultrasound machine, you couldn't do this. Uh, I was sort of joking with you before because I have one vein that people probably know. Now, Mike, that might be connected to your brain. Well, what I'm worried about is <laughs> if I take this out, I may not be able to remember where I live so anymore. So can he, can he <laughs> get that vein removed? Yes, he can Tell treat us this that. thing about, about guys, first yes. of all, and what happens as guys age with their face. And See, people that are extremely fit like you right. have lost their temporal fat pads. And so you can see the veins much easier and it, it you see it on a lot of people that are very fit once they're over 35 to 40 they lose their temporal fat pad and so they require fillers in here to again restore the heart-shaped face of youth yeah. and the veins show up much easier so we can laser those so it'll just make it look more even and the vein less yes. noticeable yes Yes, especially Thank if you, you have short hair because your hair doesn't cover it. What? So should I have long hair then? Would that be your first, <laughs> first one? Just, just, just grow it out. Well, It'll we'll see fine. how that goes. Mike will report back. Thank you so much, Dr. Braun. Thanks, Dr. Braun. If Thank you, you. want to find out more uh, about the treatments that Dr. Braun offers, you can go to Vancouver Laser and Skin Care. All the information is on their website for you. I think we did quite well not making any main vein jokes or, uh, you know, anything else. There was a lot there to work with, so... Really? <laughs>